Sarah. Yes. Those headphones. Maybe ah, between yes. Perfect. The, uh, model, between the, uh, Hi, everybody. You know, there are many reasons I'm excited for the new studio. This yeah. is one of them. Yeah, this is not one of them. She loves doing that. No, well, I don't <laughs> mind. I just think it's a, I mean, it's a real Oh, she up. loves doing oh, she that. She doesn't mind passing to other people. It's just me. I see. <laughs> I'm happy to pass. I'm just saying you should see could you, the mess could you of cables pass the down headphones? here. I think I'm going to go for seconds on the headphones. This podcast needs more headphones. <laughs> <laughs> I got the need. The need for headphones. <laughs> All right, we got uh, one of these. Uh, oh. I'm getting into IRC. Watch out, chatters. <laughs> what? How come Sarah never gets into IRC anymore? Well, I feel like I don't. Greetings, Tinker Toy Tech. I just know that every time I'm on a show with someone who hasn't logged into the chat room, someone will eventually say during the show in the chat room, why does that host never go into the chat room? Even if it's like the first time they haven't been into the chat room in years. Yeah. You're not in there. You suck. And I agree. You suck if you don't go to the chat room. Yeah. Well, you guys are pretty You're hard on the color. record. I am on the record. Happy 2011, everyone. Why is Tom always in the chat room? <laughs> exactly. Why are you always in the chat room? Lurking. Yeah, don't, don't you know they don't want you there Steering the, the time? conversation away. Yeah, I don't think... What's Where are all the people here? in the chat room? In the chat room. In the chat room. What's the name of the IRC client? Who are the people in the chatter hood? Uh, what's the name? Colloquy. What? Colloquy. C O L L O Q U Y. Oh, he's, he's on a Mac, so. Hmm. No colloquy. Oh, X Chat. X Chat. Oh, X Chat Aqua. Ooh, the chat. Colleen is the, the big X Chat fan. Dude, X Chat rocks. That's the only reason I have X Chat on my X -chat Mac. X Chat rocks. Colloquy kicks X Chat's Mac ass. Well, Ooh. I've never. I've not never its done. Windows ass. Yeah. It's Mac ass. I tried, X Chat I tried is not that Mac. good on the. Uh, I actually on the got Mac. this Mac like years ago. I like X Chat on the, on the, on the Windows. Solbu, I'm considering a trip to Norway in 2011. You'll have to give me tips from your home country, assuming that's where you're actually from. You're going where? When? I'm considering a trip to Norway this year. We're considering a trip to Sweden. You are? Yeah. How fun. Whoa. Uh-huh. I was originally thinking, well, even maybe that in Denmark, but I don't know. That might be just a little too optimistic. Something rotten in Denmark. <laughs> uh, no, I just, yeah, Eileen and I have been talking about Sweden because we both like Ikea so much. <laughs> Right. It did, the, the, the conversation did start in an Ikea, <laughs> hilariously enough. But I have a sob. Yeah. I'm very happy with it. Right. I should go to Sweden. <laughs> you were watching, you were reading the really, Thor because... comic book and said, I should go to Norway. <laughs> Actually contemplating uh, Dublin again, and, and I think it might have something to do with the Jameson. So. <laughs> that you've been drinking this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, right before the show. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, it's not, it's not a done deal, but hmm. that, that sounded pretty fun. Besides the fact that the dollar doesn't go very far. Mm. But what are you going to do? That's because we, we make all our dollars out of paper. It goes so much farther if we had coins. Oh, yeah. That's true. It's true. The Norwegians, they've got it all figured out. Yeah. Ooh, Quality of life. Fjords. Thursday. I was cleaning out some stuff. Guess what I found? A $2 Canadian bill. A two dollar bill? No, no, I'm sorry. It was a one dollar bill. So it was like oh. a loony. It was like a loony, but it was not a coin. Right? No, no, it, no. I'm sorry. It was a two dollar bill. I tweeted it. Oh, wait a minute. It was yeah. a U.S. It was, it was a two dollar no, bill. No, oh wait, it no, it was a U.S. one dollar. No, it was a Canadian coin. It was a Canadian coin. No, it was not a coin though. It was like a two dollar bill. Like they had them back before. Wow. I don't know when it changed. A toonie before they had. It, the it was a toonie before it was on coinage. paper. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty cool. Pining for the fjord. I have a two dollar American bill on my fridge. Ooh, it's just the sort of thing I like looking at because yeah. they're so rare. They're so much fun. They're, Molly, they're Hollywood is legal a big two dollar bill they're, fan. They're good. For Collect shares. uses them for tips. Yeah, th that's huh. what I use them for. It's good stuff. Because hmm. people I'm look big, at you like, is this real money? I have a couple of two dollar <laughs> bills uh, that have the red printing on them. Oh, uh, from back in the Soviet from like era, like seventy seven. Wow. Little, yeah, there was an anti-counterfeiting measure back then. Oh, had some fun. red printing. I had no idea. I know, you wouldn't think that the U.S. in the 70s would have ever printed red on anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Better dead than red on my $2 bill. Meh. Meh. Do you have All a right. pound note as well? 
I lost it. I had some great stuff in my wallet um, on the whole trip across the country, including like Chinese money and pounds and euros and all that stuff. And then when I lost my wallet on the highway and that happened to it and my, my license got all mystified. Got eaten by Yeah, and my wallet like falling apart and stuff. And that's why I have to bring my passport everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Yeah. Give to the Darren Kitchen <laughs> Wallet Fund. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty ratty. I really need to replace Donate. it. Donate. <laughs> Fill that wallet with money to buy a new wallet. <laughs> no, it was actually great, though. I mentioned it on uh, when I ended up in uh, Detroit. Somebody was like, oh, dude, that really sucks about losing all your foreign currency. He was like, well, here's some Chinese money. And I was like, what? Sweet. Where did nice. this come from? China. China. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, know, I need to get on eBay or hit up some of my Facebook friends and be like, hey, can I buy some of your money? Because I like it. It's really pretty. Can I buy some of your money? It's pretty. It's so fun to buy money. It is. It just seems weird. <laughs> but I could just go to eBay. I like I like bought Deutschmarks. Yeah. That well, was a lot of fun. I but bought Euros last time I went to Europe. Yeah. I mean, well, the, the Deutschmarks are cooler them, because but... they're not in use anymore. Oh, you know? right, right. I see yeah, what you're saying. That's yeah. why I bought those. Mm-hmm. I, have, I have money all over my house. I, I miss the old European... Different country, really? different money. The lira, yeah. the f- French francs. I miss the old state-issued uh, promissory notes that were traded as currency in the old West. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not as old as you, Tom, but no they one, sound pretty cool. No one is, years Sarah. Old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty convinced at this point that Tom is a vampire and has been alive for hundreds and hundreds of years. <laughs> That's why he's married to Eileen. What? Huh? Oh, right. Yeah, bike, bike club. club. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. Oh. Inside Wait information. Uh huh. It just blew my mind. <laughs> yeah. It all makes Deep sense. Deep fan, I wouldn't call it a good chance. There is a very small chance the Euro won't be around for much longer. Oh. Hmm. That's that's a very small chance, though. I asked the Brits, and they were like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll adopt the euro as soon as it's in our favor, too. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But there's there's all this talk of because of Ireland and Greece and, and Spain that they might, that people might start jumping out of the euro. Ireland has said it might jump out of the euro and go back. And that's way better is, than jumping out of a birthday cake. It won't. No, it's not. No, it's not at all. And then, let me explain why. A birthday cake <laughs> has frosting. Euro, Euros. No frosting. <laughs> this is the fundamental difference between... Tasty goodness and and uh, money. It's a <laughs> yeah. shame. I mean, it's a common Plus, comparison that's made. It's a lot easier to money. come out of a cake. You just pop through the top. Getting out of the euro <laughs> involves a huge cost. But they have those. They have those around Halloween. You can get them. They're like they look like coins, but they're really chocolate. Mm. That could be a great new currency. That could replace the euro. That chocolate is always. Bad chocolate, though. That what you just want once. I currency. want chocolate that looks like a gold coin to be good chocolate. <laughs> just uh, once. Just I want <laughs> chocolate that looks like a gold coin to be made of gold. And edible. <laughs> and and tastes like awesome chocolate. Yeah. Just once. Just but, once. If, but if all the chocolate coins are, are nasty <laughs> tasting, then nobody would have any qualms using it as money. Because nobody well, would want it. Yeah, eat, that's the thing. Know? You'd have to make that currency, and then the person that owned that money had the choice. Yeah. Do I want this to have value for buying things, or do I just want some chocolate? See, if the euro was chocolate, it would be the same as jumping out of a cake, like a chocolate cake, just without the frosting. You could put frosting on your euros if you want. Jumping, jumping <laughs> Somebody out send of me the a picture of frosting on euros. Like, it, no. I, I need a picture of some frosted euros by the end of the day. Frosted euro bars. All right. Mm. Speaking of frosted euro bars, are we ready to go? Make a man out of a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy I didn't fall on you trying to pull that off. Bacon? It's really dedicated to putting those bunny ears behind Tom. Mm. Good work, Howell. Like, oh, Extra what's that? Right, what has that one done done Next yet. year's best of. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I broke the laptop and the Mac. But worth it. Whatever. Worth it. Whatever. Put bunny over. ears. Come yes. on. Worth it. <laughs> the international sign of I'm cooler than you. Yeah. You've been pwned. The international sign for you're stupid. You don't know you have bunny ears behind you. International sign Except for I'm standing behind you. <laughs> and you don't know it. Yeah. And you're a bunny. You don't have eyes in the back of your head. You only have front facing camera. Well, only front facing. <laughs> Actually, in the rear. Well, I'm confused because I, I really think they've got the terminology wrong because this is the rear of the phone. This is the front of the 
I don't know. It just seems But it's backwards. like, pretend the phone is a face. A oh, human face. okay. So, mm. eyes in the front, eyes in the back. I'm actually thinking of- Eyes up here, kitchen. Eyes up here, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your phone's saying to you every time yeah, you look at yeah. it. Yeah, all right, all right. I, feel, I, I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> uh, hmm. All right, what should we call this show? Title suggestions. Seismus. That was one of the stupidest no, things I've ever said so in my life. Lame. <laughs> Facebook handed sacks of gold. Oh. <laughs> Heppel's I2K1 bug. That's pretty good. Ooh, I like that. Putin on the Linux. <laughs> Putin on the Linux. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, that's good. Lovely. Mm. Winner. Yep. The <laughs> camera is up here. You yeah. get your kicks. <laughs> Putin on the Linux. <laughs> that's the wrong. <laughs> All right. All right. You ready for a tease? Mind if I do bunny ears through the T's? Yeah, I mind because okay. I'm not a bunny. <laughs> ah, it's worried about I'm mind. not actually a rabbit. <sighs> yeah, sorry about Booting that. On the Linux. <laughs> Thanks for that. It's going to be there all day. You can't put bunny ears on a vampire anyway. It just doesn't work. <laughs> That's true. It's just extra teeth. So if I'm not here tomorrow, you know why. Uh oh. Here we go. Coming up on Tech News Today, our first show of 2011. We're going to recap some of the stories you missed during the break. Also, why Facebook is valued $50 billion by Goldman Sachs, a Windows Phone 7 data bug that could cost you money, and Vladimir Putin is interested in the Linux, and we make the jokes about the Russia. It's all coming up next. Good. Good. Yeah. 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 It's all right. It's great. I'm down with it. So so. It's all right. Do you write those out first? Didn't have bunny ears. Is that off the cuff? That was off the cuff. Nice. I I I write. I can sometimes see you thinking mid, you know, about about the the sentence three moves in. And the other thing. And the other thing. <laughs> the long vowel is yeah, the giveaway. Yeah, yeah, that is. <laughs> well, no, it's in your eyes. Yeah. Yeah, because you're like looking like next sentence. <laughs> yes. Yes, SQ Freak. I, I, I do realize. Oh, wait a minute. This says original uncensored version. I didn't realize that there was an uncensored version of Taco putting on the Ritz. Putting on the F Ritz. What, what would be. Da, da. Not I, have, safe I have no for, idea. We'll not find out. Yeah. I could get fired at the end of this episode. Putting on the F and Ritz. <laughs> F bomb, F bomb, F bomb. <laughs> Fired or eaten by a vampire? Baby doo doo. Why was this ever yeah, like a that. top forty song? Because it's got that that it's like that. driving boom boom boom. That that just that beat that just kind of makes you like. It's just such an odd hit. Yeah. It was used in a lot it's of aerobics classes. Yeah. It's a time. little slow for aerobics. Yeah, it's you know warm up. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool down. And Jane Fonda stretch to put on the side of it. Fossey right, up, down, up. Yeah, the video is pretty strange too, I gotta say. Ah, <laughs> uh, the early days of videos. <laughs> yeah. They don't make them like they used to. No, they really don't. I'm just talking yeah, about effort into them now. Just What's talking that? about the they put effort thing. into them now. <laughs> They don't just get a bunch of people in a room and be like, all right, do stuff. Now you're at we'll the Ritz. point at you. Yeah. Put on a tuxedo. You're going to dance or something. <laughs> all right. It was a 30 song. song. It was, it was 80s, a cover. Actually. It was a cover, you know, putting on the Ritz. Maybe that was it, all the people who remember the original. Isn't it from, original. like, a Broadway show? Isn't it a song from a Broadway show? I believe you may be right. I am not uh, well-versed in that knowledge. but. It, it does. True. Which has been turned into a Broadway I'm, musical. I'm not positive. I, I just always assumed. 
Young, yeah, young, yeah, young Frankenstein. So, Sarah, go. did you do that with the the Facebook? Did you separate the peoples? The Facebook? I did. You did. Yeah. Did you do it after the fact? Because I'm I'm like twenty five hundred people in and just now deciding that maybe I should put the fans on the fan page and and the peoples in the. Yeah, you know what yes. I did was, um, I, and I didn't do this for everybody because I had accumulated quite a few folks too. Not as not twenty five hundred because I had been kind of I I was just unsure. Do I want to just friend everybody? Yeah, yeah, some yeah. people. Liked that, and other people said, "Oh, breaks." Well, when it first started, me. they didn't have the fan page then. Right. Exactly. Yeah, it, it finally became something where I'm like, I think I want to enjoy my Facebook experience, yeah. and it's not designed to do what I'm it's doing. For yes. Flipbook, this is the reason because I want to use Flipbook so bad. Yeah. So what I did was I tried to um, some of the folks that I took off of my friend list. It's you know, if I don't know you IRL, then there's just I mean, I'm, I'm using the beer rule, you know. If we haven't we had a beer, if we haven't had a beer. Well, we've had we've, we've virtually had a beer though, by doing this show. This is like having a few. This beers is like having a few Monday. beers. Yeah. You need a few beers to do this show. Right. I had a few beers right yeah. before the show. Are you guys right. kidding? On top of your whiskey. Well, need a few beers after the show. Isn't that why you guys have a keg behind the? Yeah. Well, it's just clear light. <laughs> oh, oh, right. It's water. <laughs> Dang it. It's water. Yeah. Um, so, Putting on the Ritz was written for the musical film Putting on the Ritz in 1929 by Irving Berlin. Mm. It was then also used. In the film *Idiot's Delight* in 1939, where it was sung by Clark Gable, and then it was used again in *Blue Skies*, a Fred Astaire film in 1946, where the lyrics were changed to change the references to Harlemites to uh, affluent whites. Oh, really? <laughs> huh. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Tom's and then, just a and then, uh, Wikipedia is just a wealth of knowledge. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. Well, then Taco came right. along. And, and then it was covered. Yeah, well, it was, it was covered your, by a lot wait, of people. Taco quick, was so can, uh, only the this. most <laughs> recent. Well, actually, not even the most They're recent. They're only famous Leningrad song. Leningrad Cowboys covered it in yeah, 2006. Cover. That's, that's too bad. Shiny Toy Guns covered it in 2005. Yeah, but those are all covers of the Taco version. <laughs> oh. Well, right. Nice. right. Taco had the biggest hit with it. Peaked at number four yeah. on the Billboard Hot 100. Right time, right place, maybe, um. you know?